can hear the pitter patter of someone else's footsteps. So I don't know where that is, but I'm I'm hearing somebody else's footsteps. Okay, I don't think it was him. His footsteps are a little different. I really like this um this light lampshade that they've got. This brazier. It's got like a, a different kind of like hot coal on it. Oh, he whispers still. Sometimes. It's hard to hear with the thing rolling around nearby. Eh, it's a guy. Hello, trap. So he rolls pretty far down. There's also an up. So let's go up while he rolls down and try that way first. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. Safety corner. Oh no, no, no. Oh. Well, this is game over then. Right? Because what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I wonder if we can ride it. It's a horse, right? It's a horse statue. Let's try and ride it. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Turn around, turn around. Place is mean, bro. Yes, I made such a time. Oh, interesting. That could be the same place as I was. Let's try again, let's try again.
Hello. No, no, no. No hints. No hints for me. <laughs> it's pretty cool. We got we got pretty far down, but then there's two different ways down, so I'm not sure if you know if they're all one and the same place. Kind of exciting. Let's see if I can line this up better before I just flop off badly. Here we go. Yeah, we did it. Nice. Ooh. There's a door. Made it. All right, let's turn our lantern on. Let's see what we got. Is there a door on the other side as well? No, just the one side. We got a guy. It's not going to like this. Hey. Perfect. Oh, Bloodhound Knight's Helm. Not armor. Gauntlets and Greaves. Yes. <laughs> so my thing is that um, I'm playing each game for the first time. Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 are now Elden Ring. And my gimmick is that I never ever increase my health points. Because, you know, just having a big red bar is kind of boring. I want it to matter when I get hit by an attack. So in order to be a little bit tougher, without putting in any more health, I've got endurance. Because, you know, I like to wear all the different outfits as well. This is like the heaviest, some of the heaviest gear that I've got so far. So, 5.1. So 5.9s. Yeah, if I put on this 7.5 weight helm, I go overweight. So I, I definitely need more weight limit. I just want to be out of wear everything. Just in case we see something really fashionable. Wow! An entire extra set of gear? Cool. They look kind of similar as well. So I don't really know. So my other gimmick is that I never look anything up online. So I don't know what other people do in their playthroughs. I don't know anyone like the answer to anything because I don't use any Reddit forums or YouTube guides or anything like that. So it's all just like pure discovery. And I love playing this. It reminds me of like before the internet had the answer for everything immediately. Helmworn by knights once loyal to Praetor Rikard. Oh, we know this guy. He got eaten by a snake, according to the story so far. On purpose. This is really bizarre. His crest of red feathers symbolizes Rikard's pedigree as Lord Radigan's son. Oh, wow. So that's a new thing. I don't think we knew that up until this point. And then we had the, the Blood Knight. Here we go. So I think we have these blood Bloodhound Knights in Dark Souls 3. Level one is just no upgrades to anything. It's a challenge when we're really fun. Honestly, I like the unique until you run. All right, cool. Yeah, um, so I brought a, a PlayStation 5. So we're going to be doing Bloodborne and the remake of Demon Souls 2 with, with no looking up anything on the internet. First time, no adding in any health and just having fun with it. What's great for me is that it, it's, it plays like release day of the game. Even though it's been years later, I just I just don't look anything up and then play it like it's absolutely fresh and take no hints or, or any like guides or anything. So it's like any game can be that first release release date of the game, and that's that's really precious to me. I I like that because you can only ever play a game for the first time once, so you might as well make it really really count. Metal Helm with a pointed beak, worn by the Bloodhound Knights. The Bloodhound Knights are trained as hunters and known to be unshakable trackers. Without the use of language, each knight chooses his own master. Once the decision has been made, the knight stays loyal for life. So, I think maybe we'll wear this uh, Gelmir Knight, because it kind of looks kind of cool. Oh, this one's got an extra bit of tooth on it. Bears an emblem that none wear any longer, standing as it does for a lord that fell from lofty ambition into gluttonous depravity. As the Lord lost his dignity, so did these knights lose their master. Oh, and no, I'm still under medium equip load. Oh, I like this one. I think I think the hat's a little bit better. Let's 
going to the streams to see if they need help, but I wanted to see how far you got in Troll. So, we're doing pretty well. I don't know if I found everything, but I, I spend like more time in these games with the binocular out, looking around for secrets <laughs> than I do running around the rest of the game. So I think we're doing all right for someone with uh, 10 hit points. We killed uh, Godric, Godric the Grafted, with, with just 10 health. Um, and we killed Renala, but she's she's still alive. Yeah, sure, I can show you how many hours I'm in. Um, oops, there's, there's a menu here. Uh, 83 hours, 10 minutes. And yeah, like Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, they, they, they've all taken like about 140 hours each. Defeating Dark Souls 2 with just 10 bigger was very hard. Dark Souls 2 was probably the toughest one. And then Dark Souls 3 is just insane. Like, because the combat's faster, it just takes it up another level. Wow. 243, nice. It's loads of fun anyway. I'm just I'm I'm loving FromSoft. Like I've only discovered them when I started Dark Souls 1 the other day. Like I had some of these games purchased for years. But I was stuck in this loop where I was just playing MMO games. Um and I was just building up this great big library of single player games. Um because I'm turning this off offline. I don't really want other players running around in my game. Um, yeah, I was just building up this, this library that I was never playing of off, offline games uh, while I was stuck on MMOs, and I decided this World of Warcraft expansion is really, really boring. I quit MMOs. Let's go play all the single player games. So that's why I'm here. Finally went to your next playthrough. You didn't even find everything. Well, that's the joy of like playing a game again for the second time without any guides that tell you where everything is. Because then you find something new that you didn't discover last time, and it's just awesome. So we're planning to do new game pluses. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep my health at 10, but we're going to do new game plus. Um, and that that's going to be great to find things. Someone accidentally let slip that in Dark Souls 1, I, um, I didn't find the entire DLC. It's a DLC for Dark Souls 1 that I, I missed. So I'd rather I, I didn't get told that, but it's interesting to know that there's... Oh, Mantis Blade. There's an entire portion of the game that I didn't find. Curved sword with a blade at both ends would by the cemetery shades, the insect-ridden gravekeepers. Blade is thin and sharp, and strong attack unleashes a far-reaching slash. That sounds cool. I'm not seeing the far reaching slash. Hmm. Good thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to New Game Plus of everything. Um, just because um, I want to see how much quicker I can do Dark Souls 2. Finding where to go in Dark Souls, Souls 2 was... <laughs> that was something else. Doesn't seem to be anything off the side there. Hmm. Oh, I think this might be where I went down the other way. Yeah, okay, I found where I am now. Cool. I got stuck in the corner just a minute ago, and that was unpleasant. Um, if it's like a PlayStation exclusive, I'll do it. But I think one of the God of War games came to PC. So I'll pick up the PC version where possible. Because I'm having to stream the PlayStation 5 downstairs to this computer, and this computer, the way I've got my stream set up, I stream it to another computer upstairs, so it's going to be the stream of a stream of a stream, which is just kind of crazy. But because it's Bloodborne, 
and people say it's so good, I decided it was worth it. If I wanted to do it where I run it off the monitor in front of me rather than stream it, I'd need to buy two or three 15 meter cables and a capture card, which was a lot of money. I didn't want to do that. Alright, we've got to try and race him to the bottom, I guess. Wait, where am I going to go once we get to the bottom? Uh-oh. Yep, that isn't good. That isn't good at all. Oh, I've got an idea, though. At one point, I jumped down. I wonder if you can... You you actually can ride on top of him by jumping down onto him. I kind of avoided him because I thought, well, he's dangerous. All right, PlayStation Premium. Yeah, I mean, if there's exclusives where I need to like buy the earlier games to know the story, um, yeah, yeah, I'll buy them. No problem. It's a good game series, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm always looking forward to uh, people's recommendations. Like, I've got one one heck of a list of games to play, but it's time to play everything. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> this is a few things that I've uh, played before, but I just I haven't got a recording of. Ah, oh, I missed the turn. Damn. Like, um, I'm doing all the Assassin's Creeds, and I'm getting a recording of them. And I've got a recording of Assassin's Creed 1 and 2, but I've also played Brotherhood before. It's a little bit annoying that I have to play it again, but I wanted to get a recording of everything up there. So, it's my new goal. I've missed out on the last 20-ish years of single-player games, because I've been stuck in MMOs. And then, I'm a little bit older than that. So, I also have other games that I want to play and get a recording of that are long older than 20 years. I will be playing every single great game on the Mega Drive. Or, um... Sega Genesis, depending on which region you live in. And of course I gotta play um, Super Mario World on the SNES and all the other great things on the Super Nintendo. It just goes without saying. I just really like streaming. I've got a lot of regulars that, that stop on by that make it really, really awesome. Well, I say a lot. I've got... I've got four people that show up that make this all really, really worthwhile. And that's enough for me. Yeah, that sounds like me. Like, the amount of, like, time on my World of Warcraft account is measured in years, not days. Which is uh, a little bit sad, but, you know, it is, it is how it is. Let's see if we can fall onto this guy. I don't know if this will just instantly kill me, because he's, he's kind of spiky. But, hopefully I'll live. I kind of want to know, like, how long he sits there before he's gone. So he stops. Turns. Oh, he's... He leaves quite quickly after he turns. This is going to take some good timing. Yeah, I kind of did everything in World of Warcraft and on both factions. Oh my god! I did it! Pretty cool. 
I don't know if this was how I was supposed to solve it, but this is how I'm going to solve it. <laughs> I wait for him to turn around and then, I don't know, I guess I'll jump off oop, here and run. Oh god, why? <laughs> awesome. But yeah, um, my YouTube... Oh, thank you very much. My YouTube URL is the same as the Twitch one, but just, with, you know, with YouTube at the start. So that's where, that's where all the Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 is. And it seems like when people go to watch some of these videos, they're like, they're, they're a fan of, like, one of the games. But it sounds like you've done them all, or, or you like them all. So it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice to see someone who's enjoying all of them like I am. I'm seeing a lot of people come by every now and again that they just play one game out of the series. There's a lot of people that seem to have played just Dark Souls 3 and they haven't played the other ones. And it's a good job it's not like a continuous, like, you know, one of the games where you, you really need to watch the series in order because then they would have they would have missed the start of the story. And I think I get told by people every now and again to not play the first The Witcher game. But... I don't know, I can't like not play the first The Witcher game. I gotta play all of them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play The Witcher 1 and then 2 and then 3. <laughs> Cause that, that'd just be weird. Yeah, there's a lot of artwork bots that keep on demanding the Discord. So I do, I do have a Discord link. I, I just gave up recently and made a Discord for us. Like before I didn't really wanna manage and run a discord but so far it's been okay no no spammers so far i've pretty much been giving it out giving out the link in chat kind of at the end of the stream and on the youtube videos where the bots don't seem to like click them as much the last of us oh yeah i've heard of those games i think they keep on remaking the last of us like there's the last of us the last of us hd and then the last of us remake so I don't know, I kind of want to buy, like, the when they finish making them. Uncharted, I almost brought that with my PlayStation. I needed to make a certain size purchase to use up all these points on a website. And instead of Uncharted, I brought a thing called Shadow of the Colossus for PlayStation 4. It should work in the PlayStation 5. Um, but I almost brought Uncharted. Oh! It's the dog. We've seen this guy before outside and in Rea Lucaria. Oh no. Oops. We'll get him though, we'll get him. I really like that he's doing his little bounding around in a circle. That was awesome. He was just like a dog. He looks a little bit fox-like, so I'm not really sure if he's a, a dog or a fox. I think we use poison in here. Seems very good. Yeah, someone told me that um, if I own it on PlayStation 4, it must be a remake. Shadow of the Colossus came out on PlayStation 3 or 2. That's what someone was saying. to get my head in the game. It's my first boss in the morning and I really need to uh, really need to do better. Someone um, like a quite a while back uh, got me to play Dead Space 3. I think he either brought it for me as a gift or it was on a very generous sale or something. And we were having a great time and then the next day he just didn't want to play it. And I thought that was so bizarre, like, 
you get someone to buy and install a game or whatever and then no I, I I didn't play the first ones but like because it was someone that I knew directly asking me oh come play this that was like the one time that I just played right in the middle of the game series without playing the early bit but yeah he didn't want to play it the next day and then we never played it again it was just bizarre All right, okay. Wow, that's an old game then. The, the one that he got me to play was um, on the Electronic Arts uh, launcher called Origins. So that's what I ended up playing it on. I ended up playing it on PC on, on Origins. I don't even know if that's still going because Origins, they had like a disagreement with Steam over a lot of games where they were selling DLC, which is against Steam's terms of service. And then EA are back on Steam again, so God knows what's happening. Publisher drama. Oh man, that was super cheap how he, he spun my camera around by changing sides and then all those arrows hit me in the back. Yeah, I used to be really good with horror games as a kid and now I'm, I'm not so great with horror games. <laughs> I played a little bit of Resident Evil 5 with someone before they had like a crash one day and then they didn't want to play it again. I think I played the demo of Resident Evil 6 and then I've played on GameCube Resident Evil 0 I think it's called and then I did a little bit of Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil Survivor on the PlayStation 1 because the last console I owned before this PlayStation 5 was a PlayStation 2 so I'm a little bit out of the loop a bit more of a PC guy Oh, remake Resident Evil 5, nice. Maybe I'll get to finish it next time. <laughs> <laughs> 